Hey, this is Thomas. Are you looking for a pre-sale condo? Do you know how is the process look alike? In today's video, we'll go from the A's to the Z's on how to purchase a pre-sale condo in Canada. Let's get started. First, let's look at what exactly a pre-sale condo is. A pre-construction condominium is a real estate property that you purchase before or during the construction. The beauty of a pre-construction condo purchase is that you can secure your new home with a small deposit first, usually around 5 to 15% of the total purchase price. There are also no mortgage repayments until closing, so you won't have to start paying until you move in which is 2 to 3 years later. Therefore, it gives you extra time to save for the down payment and the mortgage. Now that you know what a pre-sale condo is, how does buying a pre-sale condo work? It might seem daunting, but we'll take you through the entire pre-construction purchasing process in just a couple of steps. First, give your finances a health check. Being well prepared financially will set you up for a smooth pre-sale experience, and there are a few things that you will want to have to check off your list. First, you need to understand your cash flow in the next 2 to 3 years. If you're an employee, are you up for a big promotion or will your salaries likely stay the same? If you're a business owner, will you need to invest heavily into your business in the next couple of years or will you have some extra saving flowing back to you? Understanding all these factors will determine if buying a pre-sale condo is a wise idea for you right now. Next, speak to a mortgage specialist to get an idea on how much you can afford to spend. Even though you don't need to get a mortgage right away, they are willing to walk you through the entire process so you can get an estimate what's your borrowing power or what kind of income you need to hit before you can get a green light. Once you got your finance repair, you're ready for the fun part. Take a look online and see what constructions is coming up. They will likely be developers advertising, so look at what information they have on their website. The most important thing is to review the available floor plans and prices. You will also want to check out the color scheme and materials choices available. Once you narrow down to a condo, then it's time to go visit the sales center and take a look at the showroom to give you a better idea of what the finishing space will look alike. A benefit of a pre-sale is sometimes you're able to get an upgrade options like marble counters, better appliance, customized handles or choose a color scheme. However, the ability to make changes is depending on the developer and is only available early in the projects. Once construction reaches to a certain point, they won't be able to change it. So be sure to chat with a sale consultant early for more choices. Once you have decided on the unit, you need to sign the contract and pay the deposit. Note that even though you signed the contract, you have not bought the condo. Rather, it's just a contract that binds you to buy the condo at a later date. I recommend that you have your real estate professionals to review the contracts for you for your own peace of mind before signing and making the deposit payments, which is usually between 5 to 15% of the total sale price. And depending on the contract, you might need to pay the installment when certain stages of the projects are completed. So again, check with the lawyer or the real estate agents about the details of the contract. Once paid, the amount is kept safely until you close. How long the building process takes depending on what stage the developer is in, but it can take anywhere from 1 to 3 years on average. On rare cases, it can take longer if something like COVID occurs that delays the entire process. During this time, the developer will send mails and amendments to keep you up to date. Usually 6 months prior to closing, the developer will contact you to give you a series of date, like closing date, inspection day and etc. Make sure you mark it down so you won't forget. And also, since few years pass by, your financial goal might change. So you may not want this property anymore as you don't want extra mortgage. Therefore, you might consider letting someone else to take over it. This is called the assignment. And this only happens if the land developer lets you to do so. There are chances they won't let you, so make sure you go over the contract. When the building is close to completion, you'll be invited to an information session to help prepare you for the next steps, closing and move in. But before you close, you'll have the opportunity to inspect your condo, so make sure everything is in order. You'll get to walk through your condo and note any items you'd like to have reviewed by the construction team. Now building is completed, it's time to get your mortgage approval. Usually, you can lock in the rates six months prior to your closing. 
If you work with a bank or a mortgage broker, it will make the process fast and efficient. Your lender will let you know what's required, such as the recent pay stubs or bank account statements. You have to decide whether you want a variable mortgage rates or fixed rates. Both have pros and cons depending on what type of market you are in. A fixed rate will give you the peace of mind if interest rate increases, you won't be paying more monthly. However, if you're in a market with high interest rate right, right now, a variable rate might be more beneficial. If you're unsure, talk to the mortgage specialist about your options and which one is best for you. You'll also need to get a lawyer or notary who will be able to explain the taxes you need to pay like GST and home transfer tax. You'll be given a summary of the closing costs payable ahead of time so we'll know what you need to pay when the closing date arrives. Now all the contracts are signed, you got the key, then you can pick the date to move in. And congratulations, now you become a homeowner. Okay, now you know the process, it seems long and a lot of things to watch out for. You might be wondering, what's the advantage of buying a pre-sale condo then? For starters, the median price of a pre-sale condo is usually significantly lower than a traditional single-family home or an already built condo. This makes buying a condo in your desired location far more achievable. You are able to lock in the price, hopefully the price of the real estate goes up during the time it takes the developer to build a condo. No matter what, the price of your condo stays the same as the price you agreed to pay in the initial agreements. In addition, new buildings are typically more tacky, like energy efficiency for example, saving you money on the power bills. There's also the added bonus for minimal repair and upkeep costs when compared to a traditional single-family home. Another main advantage is that it gives you time to get your finances in order. When buying a pre-sale condo, you only need to pay down the deposit up front with the remaining balance only due once the property is complete. This means you have more time to save for a larger deposit and still lock in today's market value for a new condo. However, buying a pre-sale condo isn't for everybody. As with any property purchase or large investment, it's important to be aware of any risk to watch out for. As you cannot see what you're buying yet, it's a good idea to visit a sales center and talk to a sales agent, but there's always a risk that the condo won't be built how you imagine it. I heard cases that all the cabinet was not in place or wrong installation at the time of completion. It's rare, but it happens. And just like any major construction project, complications can arise and timelines can be challenging. If you don't have any rigidity or ability to juggle your life and finance around a bit, then perhaps pre-sale is not a good decision for you. Do your research on the developer and make sure they have a good reputation in the market. Look at what other buildings the developer have built in your city and see what types of quality they have. Lastly, in a very very rare occasion that land developers have gone bankrupt, leaving those who have invested in the pre-sale condos with nothing to show for it. Sure, 90% of the time you can get back your money, but it's very time consuming and you also lost that 3 to 4 years of your time. Oh, and not to mention that the market might change. When COVID hit, some people lost their jobs and weren't able to complete on the pre-sale condo. If you can't complete it, then there are lots of penalty and fees. The bottom line is you need to weight the risk and potential reward of buying a condo before it's built. Talk to your investment advisor, mortgage broker, and other financial experts before you decide whether it fits for you. And that's it for this video. I hope this will help you with your home purchasing journey. Hey, thanks so much for watching. This is Thomas, and I will see you in the next video.